guys, it's Alexis from Persia Lou. That's me. Today I have a really fun pattern that I'm excited to share with you guys. This pattern is super awesome because you can make it in less than 30 minutes. 30, 30 minutes, it's fast. I wonder if you can guess what it is. Maybe it's this hat that I'm wearing. That's right, this guy right here. Chunky, oversized pom-pom hat. And as you can see, this is big, right? Like, I, I like the oversized style of it. But if you want it a little more snug, like this guy, same pattern, but it fits more like a typical beanie. So to make the more oversized hat, this guy, you are gonna complete this pattern with a S hook, which is 19 millimeters and it's big, kind of like almost ridiculously big, but it makes it so you can make an awesome hat in under 30 minutes, so I love it. This guy right here, you need the Q hook, which is still jumbo, but a little bit smaller. It's about 16 millimeters. So I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome hat in 30 minutes. The video's not gonna take 30 minutes, but you're gonna make it in 30 minutes. All right, ready? Let's go. You'll need some number seven jumbo yarn. I recommend Bernat Mega Bulky. It worked great for my hats. And a size Q or S crochet hook, depending on how big you want your hat to be. We're gonna start with a magic circle or magic loop. The way I do this is by wrapping the yarn around my fingers twice with the working yarn in front, pinch at the top, then wrap your yarn around your hand like you normally do to crochet. And make sure you pinch that loop at the top so it doesn't come apart. Insert your hook and draw a loop up through the magic loop and now you're ready to crochet. We are starting with a chain three and that counts as our first double crochet stitch. It might take you a little while to get used to working with the large hook, but just be patient, it'll get easier the further we go. So I'm gonna pull the tail forward and now I'm gonna crochet 11 more double crochet stitches into this loop. And the reason I use a magic loop is because you can close that circle up really tight so you don't have a hole in the top of your hat. So I really like it and I just think it's an easy way to start crocheting in the round. Um, if you are not familiar with it or if you feel more comfortable starting with a chain, you could chain three or four probably, form that into a loop, and then crochet the same amount of stitches into that loop. So keep going. We want 12 total double crochet, including our starting chain three. And when you have 12 double crochet stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, you can pull on that tail to tighten up your loop all the way. Just grab it and pull. Isn't that awesome? It tightens it right up. And then you're going to slip stitch to the top chain of your starting chain three. So find that top chain right there, insert your hook and slip stitch to join that round. And that's it, your first round is done. Round two is an increase round. So we are gonna work two double crochet into each stitch to take our total stitches from 12 to 24. So I'm gonna start with a chain three again, which counts as a double crochet, and then I'm gonna work another double crochet into that same space at the top of the chain three from below. And next we're gonna work two double crochet into that next stitch. And that one can be a little hard to see after the chain three, so make sure you don't skip it. You're gonna work two double crochet into the same stitch. And just keep going in this pattern, two double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you get to the last double crochet, just like we did with the round before, we're gonna slip stitch into the top chain of our beginning chain three. And that's it for round two. It's always a good idea to count your stitches after every round. Remember the chain three counts as one.
24. For the next round, we are just going to work one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So again, we're going to start with the chain three, which counts as our first double crochet, and then one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you get to the end of that round, just slip stitch into the top chain of the starting chain three, just as we've done on the previous rounds. And that's it for round three. You can see we're starting to get that hat shape as it's kind of curling in on itself to form the crown of our hat. And don't forget to count your stitches, you should still have 24. The next two rounds just repeat this round with one double crochet in each stitch. So with a little movie magic, we are done with round five and ready to move on to round six and seven, which will form the brim of our hat. For round six and seven, you're gonna work one single crochet stitch into the back loops only of each stitch all the way around. So one single crochet in each stitch. And what I mean by back loops only is at the top of your stitch you have two strands. You want to insert your hook only through the back loop instead of through both as you normally do. So keep working those single crochet stitches into the back loops only all the way around. When you get to the last stitch, we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet just like we did with all the previous rounds. Slip stitch to join, and then the last round, round seven, is the same exact thing. One single crochet into each stitch working in the back loops only. And when you get to the last stitch, we will finish off our hat by slip stitching into the first single crochet of that round. And just clip it off and pull the loop through to finish it off. Weave in those ends with an extra large yarn needle or a crochet hook works great too. And now it's time for my favorite part, the pom pom. I picked up these great pom-pom makers at Target, but any jumbo pom-pom maker will work, or you could even just use a piece of cardboard. Basically, you wanna wrap and wrap and wrap that yarn, and then cut off another piece to tie around it. Then tie that piece around your loops tight with a double knot, slide it off your pom-pom maker or cardboard, and then cut through all of those loops to make your pom-pom. Just make sure not to cut through the long strands you use to tie your pom-pom. It's already looking pretty good, but I like to give my pom-poms a little trim to make them nice and round. Perfect. And finally, we are gonna attach our awesome pom-pom to the top of our hat. A crochet hook works great for pulling those long strands through. Just stick it up and then pull one strand down on one side and another strand down on the other side. Now we're gonna secure the pom-pom to our hat with a nice, tight double knot. And then to make sure it's extra secure and to finish it off, we will weave in those long ends inside the hat. And we are done! Our hat is ready to wear. And all it took was just seven rounds and 30 minutes. I hope you guys love this pattern. If you wanna check out more of my patterns, head over to persialoo.com and don't forget to subscribe. Happy making!